Now, why would you want to add a hyperlink to your report? Well, if your report is referencing other things, like other files that you want to be able to pull up when you're looking at the numbers within the report, or maybe another web page that you want to pull up, I want to show you how you can insert that as a hyperlink so that way you don't have to keep track of it all, as it were, when you pull up this report and go, oh, fudge. Now, let's see, I need to open up that file because it talks about some of the things in this report. Go to that website so I can compare it to this report. Instead, just do it once to insert them as hyperlinks, like up here at the top in the report header. You can actually choose where you want to insert them, but for me, the best is in the report header section. So to insert your hyperlinks to these other references, as it were, other files, documents, websites, just go ahead and right click and let's go to the design view. And to insert your hyperlinks, you need to choose a section that you want to insert them in by clicking on that section's bar, like for the report header, so I can insert them here. And then come up here on the design tab, go to the controls group, click on controls, and you're looking for the world. Go ahead and click on link. And then it says OK. By default, it wants to look on your computer if you have files, documents, other databases, or even an image that you want to be able to add as a link. Then when you click on the link, in this case, it'll pull up the book's image. So if it's not in the exercises folder, then click on the drop down arrow and you can search other folders or start from the desktop. And then go ahead and double click whatever's on the desktop to get inside of that and then go, oh, OK, let's do the book's image. Double click adds it in the upper left hand corner. So hover over the border of it, so we can click and drag and move it over here. Uh, let's do it again, only this time. Let's see, controls, link. Let's come down here and add a website address, www.dream, oh, dreamforce.us, I like that. And let's go ahead and click off. And if you'd like, you can add, well, here's the text to display versus the actual address. So if you just want the text up here to say, Let's get rid of that, Dreamforce. Then when they click on it, it'll actually take them to the website. You can do that. And you can actually add a screen tip to it. So when they hover over the link, a little pop-up says, hey, this is my website, or this will give you more details about such and such. So click on screen tip and say, my website. So please stay a while in your visit. We enjoy ya. Go ahead and click okie dokie, then click OK. And there you go. Dreamforce, let me hover over the border to click and drag and move it to the right. Okay, now to go ahead and get it to work, or we can click on it and it actually takes us to the image or the website. The only view that this will work in, obviously not the design view because you know you click in here and it does nothing, is let me right click on the tab here, the report view. Because in the layout view, it's just a layout, you're just clicking and dragging to move it around. Can't click on it to open up that link. But hey, look at that when you hover over it. The pop-up comes up, my website, and so please stay a while in your visit. Let's go ahead and right-click. Can't do it in the print preview because what you see there, well, it's going to come out of your printer. You can click to zoom out, click to zoom in, right-click, and the one view that it does work, report view. So let's go ahead and click on the image. It says, hey, this location may not be safe. A location on my computer that I didn't identify as something safe that I can fix later on, but hey, I trust it. It's my computer. Yes, there's the image. Oh, that's nice. Close out. How about, let me click off, can't see it, the website. Hover over it, gives you the pop-up. Click on it. It's my website. Very nice. Buy more products. And then, of course, to get rid of your hyperlinks, you know, right-click. Go to the design view with it selected, hit the delete key, and it's gone. Click on the border, delete, and we're back to where we started. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.